Welcome everyone, Adam Tabu here. As the recording of this, it is Tuesday, September 26, 2023. I am standing here on the balcony at my hotel room, overlooking the ocean in Hawaii. My first time ever staying at Disney's Alani Resort. And this is my view. Bright, well, almost bright, soon to be bright. Probably in another half hour or so when the sun has completely started to come up over the horizon. It is 5.57 a.m. and this is the view from my balcony. Got in yesterday, flew in on Hawaiian Airlines. My mom and I checked in, put our bags away. We went to the grocery store, got a few accessories, necessities, food items, things that we're gonna need for the next week here on the island of Oahu. And I'm gonna head down there before it starts to get too busy and give a little tour of the property, then come back up here and give a room tour. I am so excited to be here at this beautiful Disney Vacation Club property. Disney's a lot. And I'm inviting you to join me. Check this out, look at this. You can see my reflection right there in the window. It's kind of hard to get it focused, but you get the idea. Join me, shall you? Now we ended up getting us a, a one bedroom villa. And this is more or less the layout of it. You have a full kitchen over there. You have a dining room table. You have a TV here. There's also a TV. So this room here is a separate room that connects that we do not have that room. This room over here is where my mom is sleeping. And this is the balcony where I just was. This is a pull-out bed here. So this is where I'll be sleeping. I pulled this out last night and slept and she's in the, the one bedroom in there, which I'll show a little bit later. There's also, for anyone interested, the one bedroom villa, I believe in the two bedroom and three bedroom villas as well. But anything that's a villa has a washer and dryer in unit, which is really, really nice. So we got the fridge, we got some sandwich stuff over here, some coffee creamer, things like that, some snacky stuff. I will be showcasing some of the restaurants and things around as well, but nothing, nothing too dramatic. And then of course the facilities back in there. I'll show that a little bit later. This is pretty nice also. The main bedroom and this one underneath the pull-out couch, I believe it's a queen size pull-out, have their ceiling fans, which is really nice. And you can just sleep with the window open. There's a screen for the, the balcony. So I just have the balcony door open, screen closed, and the ceiling fan on. And it was very nice. Just like that, a couple minutes later, it's already a little more illuminated out there to see. I am gonna be hitting one of the few pools that they have on site. Also, this is a lazy river that continues and weaves through the very beautiful property down there with the foliage. Really looking forward to a little lazy river action all the days that I'm here. My goal is to hit the lazy river at least for a short time frame every day while staying here. There's also a splash pad area over here. There is a snorkeling section over there with fish. There is a volcano right here, man-made, that you can go down on an inner tube. It's a water slide. There's an assortment of hot tubs. I think I counted at least two, maybe three, if not more yesterday when I was walking around after check-in. There's another resort, non-Disney related right over there. 
and it's right here along the ocean and yes down there is a private beach i'm heading down now there's a couple different ways you can unlock the door you have a key card which i was given at check-in here that you can utilize that will open it. but also i'll put this back in my pocket if you have your magic band as long as your magic band is linked up to the Walt Disney World My Disney Experience app, that also works. Part of the reason I wanted to come down here so early, it's about 6.10 at the moment, because yesterday at check-in, this place was a full-on beehive of activity and probably will be again today. Stores aren't even open yet. So I kind of wanted to showcase the pools, the property, this whole area when there's not a whole heck of a lot of people in here. Because I don't want to film a bunch of people in the pools, if that makes any sense. But just look how beautiful this is. This is the perfect time to be walking through here. Ooh, I just felt my magic band. Look, my magic band is giving a magic moment. Doing a little vibration here. Got all the artwork up here. My first impression when we checked in last night and got to the room, I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. Not disappointed in the least, and I think I'm really going to learn to enjoy this place over time. Not only this day, but for years to come. I am a DVC member, and I did buy DVC points here. My look, it's giving me a magic moment again. It's vibrating again. Even my magic band's happy. You got a general layout of the land. Now, it does not state exactly anything by name, but I am just going to assume this is Oahu. Now, I might be incorrect on that. But that's my impression of what this would be. I could be wrong. There's a few islands in Hawaii. Also, I will only be going to this one island. So this will not be island hopping on this trip in years to come when I revisit and I get to know Hawaii a little bit better. That will change. But this is more of a just this island being here with my mom, enjoying some mom and son time. And over time, I'll get to learn Hawaii in general a little bit better, but I'm going to do a lot of stuff on Oahu and in this general area. But plenty of time for other island hopping. So yesterday there were some characters meeting over here. Chip and Dale, Stitch, hope to meet Stitch at some point. Long line to meet the characters right through here, but this is, this is about the general area where they meet. Okay, this is a little more detailed of the entire resort. The different towers. So we're on this side. There's another tower over here. It does the horseshoe. You have the entire lazy river right through here. You got the snorkeling. You got the splash pad there. You got a pool here, pool here, pool here. Hot tub. I think there's another hot tub up here. So there's hot tubs everywhere. But here is the coordination with everything according to what you know according to this and then you park you park up here and dvc members parking is included with their stay so lazy river is going to be hopping a little bit later the lazy river is open from eight to six this time of the year and the pools are open from eight to eight it's not 8 a.m yet this is like a little man-made paradise it really is you got the Little volcano there. The good thing about jet lag, well, it's not a good thing, but the, one of the good positive things about jet lag and time difference is you get up really early. I got up at 3 a.m. today. When I say 3 a.m., you might be thinking, wow, that's really, really early. Why'd you wake up with an internal alarm clock at 3 a.m.? Because that's 6 a.m. in California, which I'm on that time schedule because I've been in California a couple weeks. But it's also 9 a.m. 3 a.m. here is 9 a.m. in Florida. My schedule's all off.
Got some breakfast being served over here early. They also, from what I'm being told, have a mug, a free refillable mug that you can get. And I don't drink soda anymore, but I heard it includes coffee through the duration of your stay. What? Let's see if they have one in purchase. One. Okay, now these are sold all over the property. And I was told it's good for all of the freestyle machines, coffee, juices, things like that. Anywhere that you can just walk up and pour yourself a beverage, whether it be caffeinated of the hot persuasion or cold or you know, just a carbonated soda pop drink. So this is kind of, kind of good. Now we do have a coffee maker in the room, but I figure since I'm walking around, I will be at the resort for a series of days. I might as well get this. And it's a little, I got myself a little souvenir. $25 unlimited beverages while staying at the resort. Oh, I'm gonna rack some up. So the pool opens at 8 a.m. as I stated. Now there, there are 18 and up pools. Like this is reserved for guests 18 and up. Oh, if this pool could talk, could probably tell some stories. I mean, an 18 and up pool, not safe for work. A private beach. Bonnie's private beach right here. Got a beautiful resort behind me. Got a coffee in hand, piping hot caffeinated beverage and a souvenir mug in my mouth. And I don't have to travel. I mean, unless I just want to get in the rental car and go somewhere, you know, very short distance for a week. Not to get on a plane, don't have to go anywhere too far. Just doing local stuff, touristy things. I have some ideas and I'm winging a lot of it. And there's gonna be a couple days that are just here, including today. Today's just a relaxing day. Try to showcase most of the pools. Some of the pools are hidden. Some of the pools are in plain sight. Look at this grotto over here, just to showcase it. And this is one of those where it looks like it's the side of a cliff over there. It's like a, it's called something, like a zero gravity pool or end of the line pool. I'm just making, I don't really know what it's called. But what kind of awesome photo could you get right over there? And then you got a hot tub over there. Ooh, this almost, you know, art is up for interpretation, but this almost looks like a mermaid fed from this angle. Okay, pool towels and wristbands are for registered hotel guests only. Wear a wristband to utilize the pool. New wristbands required each day. I saw some people yesterday wearing multiple colored wristbands. So each day has a different color. And I think it's like a rite of passage. You just end up having like seven, if you stay seven days, you have seven different colored wristbands. And there are little cubbies. Put some money on the cubbies. Provided for your convenience. But they are not responsible for lost and damaged items. Got some cute little beautiful birds down here. There's some bird watching. That one's got a little piece of bread, a little morning breakfast snack right up top there on the umbrella. There's a little splash pad over here that has a decorative octopus, very ha happy looking octopus. Okay, here's a piece of art right here of this flying bird. Now, I don't know what it represents. But it is very interesting looking. Another pool over here that they are preparing to open. Kind of a shallow pool. They got the Zamboni out, cleaning up. Oh, I like that. That's a quiet leaf blower. Ooh, I need more quiet leaf blowers in my life. Okay, the Ulu Cafe is where you can get more. This is where they have the freestyle machines over here as well. So if I wanted to get freestyle, if you go over here, you could also, I could also get unlimited iced tea. Ice. They have Dole Whips. Oh, I don't think the Dole Whips are included. And yes, I will be having a Dole Whip at some point in my stay. Great little seating areas everywhere you turn. This is Rainbow Reef right here. Like the theming of this place. Got the stickers on the side. With a little signage, like a little roadside stop stand. It's called Mama Snack Shop. I'm gonna open a little bit later. You can get fish and chips, you can get sandwiches, shrimp, 
mini corn dog bites, things like that. All the cast members getting everything ready for the day. This is the perfect time to give a little, oh yeah, and some shaved ice will happen. Shaved ice is kind of like a glorified snow cone. I'm gonna get one of those. Look at this, is a, this is a haunted stanchion. What's going on with that? Also another gift shop over here called the Lava Shack, located at the base of the volcano. See lava is spelled out in the shape of a volcano. You can get ice cream, snacks, sundries, things like that. And then over here, you can see the fish. Hey. Take a look. How cute. This is the splash pad and climb around area. Look at this little hobbit door. Why I said it that way, your guess is as good as mine. Oh, nice touch. Nice touch. The Disney Corporation is 100 years old this year. They're celebrating their 100th anniversary, and look at this. Nicely done. Nicely done, Easter egg. In order to respect the balance of the land, do not feed the fish or the birds. So even though you might be tempted to toss a little snack to the koi, that's for the resort and the cast members and those who know about wildlife more than I do to feed the fish. There's a lot of them over there. Koi. Oh my gosh, Mickey's over there. Look, early morning Mickey. Does he have his coffee? Look how big this freaking koi fish is. Holy, that's like a, oh, that thing's massive. Yeah, gotta love early morning Mickey. He, he, looks, he looks like he's half asleep too. He probably needs a little coffee. Need some coffee, Mick? All right, real quick, like walked out to the front drop-off section and the valet section and just the check-in area over here next to the parking lot. So this is what the front of the building looks like. And I gotta go back over to my rental car and put the paperwork on the dash that is required when you have the DVC membership They give you the, the paperwork to put in there and then your room key acts as an in and out as well. And the, par the parking areas over here in this little garage. Got the little parking pylon areas there, the electronic meters. And here's the pricing. If you're here for under a half hour free, everything else is a charge, $37 per day, or DVC free. Oh, you get two vehicles per registration. That's kind of nice. I only have one. All right, back in the room now, I'm gonna show a little bit more of the room and villa tour. So you got the, it just does come with an oven, comes with a microwave, a coffee maker, a dishwasher, a rice cooker, an ice bucket, plenty of cabinet space, the groceries we ended up purchasing last night. And I will say, groceries in Hawaii are a little more expensive than elsewhere because as the cashier was telling us that they have to ship them over. So at least that was the, the reason, it was the reason that they gave. Now keep in mind, we did check in last night, so we've already utilized the shower and the accessories, but still pretty, pretty tidy as well. So you have the Two different options. You have this nozzle here that you can use, or you can use the one like waterfall style. And they also have the H2O ocean down there. And there's also a tub in here. So you have a tub and a shower, as well as another sink over on this side. And here is the main bedroom here. You got a closet here, a little coat rack there, ceiling fan, in this bedroom as well, a desk over there in the corner and a secondary balcony. So this is the second balcony, one out of the bedroom and one out of the living room that overlooks the property as well with the mountain range off in the distance. You can see the waves crashing in over there. Now the sun will be setting right 
over there later. Oh yeah, I also purchased this yesterday too. I have the big brimmed hat. Keep the sun, the sun out. This was provided as well. Also a layout of the land right here. They also do have a gym and I was gonna go in there and show the gym, but there was like 50 people in the gym early getting their workout on and I just didn't wanna, didn't wanna film in the gym. There's also provided two of these. And the thing that's neat about this, this is not just, not something you could just like toss away. You could put this in your hair Right here, so it's got the flower. Mom said she was gonna wear that at some point. I think we about got the hang of this. I'm caught up with you. <laughs> <laughs> gonna latch on. You don't have a lot of control. If you're in the water, it's not too bad. Yeah, if you're walking, you're flowing, but when you're floating like this. If you're floating like this, you're at the, you're at the mercy of the current. Love this. Also, Magic Band is also waterproof. The Magic Band is also waterproof. <laughs> through the cave of wonder. We're going through the cave. Oh, it is a hot tub. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This might be the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my gosh, a hot tub with a waterfall. This is the 18 and up zone. Look at this. You just barely made it. Oh my gosh, this is great. You just barely made it? 18. <laughs> Now have made it out onto the private beach in the ocean now in the sand. Looking back at the resort there. Whew. A little bit of slight wave action, nothing too heavy though. Just a break over there. Feels so good. Feels so nice. Oh, it's getting deep. Curve. All right, I am definitely not able to touch the ground here, so you have to have to be able to swim out here. Look at the resort behind me. I'm gonna go hatless for a moment. <laughs> I'm not gonna go sunglasses. Sunglasses on there. Came back up to the room for a little while, took a shower, relaxed for a bit, and now gonna head back down and walk out, out onto the little area out there Watch the waves crashing. I'm gonna head over there. 
and then close out. Sun should be setting in about two hours. There is either a shrimp or a grasshopper. That is a dragonfly. You see the wings? You see the two eyes and the dragonfly itself. And that's some sort of a lizard or I can't tell exactly what it is, but you see the face and you see the arms or maybe a crab. It has like some crabby type of arms there. Mom is enjoying a Mickey ice cream bar with her I Love Hawaii t-shirt on. How's the ice cream? Good? I went with the coffee. Found it over there at that little stand. Just realizing I left my sunglasses in the room, but the sun will be going down soon. Cheers. Seeing a lot of people from earlier that were in line to get the wristbands, and it's later in the day and they're still out here pool hopping. Been out here all day. We went back to the room for a little bit. Some people have been out here all day in the pools. Pools. Pools, plural of pools. How many pools do you think there are if you had to guess? I don't think I've even seen them all yet. My mom took off her wristband, but I think I'm going to leave mine on the whole week and just see how many I can have going up down the arm with different colors. Well, mine just slipped right off, Bob. You're slipped off? Yeah, I just slipped right off. Ah. It just slipped right on my hand. Oh, okay. Do you know where it is? Oh, okay. You can maybe slip it back on. And here's a farther away view of that the pool there we were sitting at earlier where it just looks like it just goes off and ends into the horizon. What an effect. I guess more like this would be the angle they probably Imagineers designed this to look like it just runs into the ocean forever and ever. There's also a ship way out there. It's all the scenic beauty out here. The palm trees, the mountains, the waves crashing in. It's gorgeous. And from this angle, it gives a view of the rocks out there and then the little divider line on how far you're allowed to swim out and then there is a lengthy view from the beach side of Disney Disney's Alani Resort. All right it is now time for the sunset. It's about to dip over the horizon right over there behind the tree right over there dipping behind the foliage and the palm trees. Very beautiful. A good ending to a very very nice day. Really good ending, beautiful ending, if you will. All right, gonna head back up to the room now and get a view from the balcony. Call it an evening. And I started the day at sunrise out here and it is now sunset. It's come full circle today as I look out across the ocean. The sun has set, nightfall's about to rear his head. Head, and we are gonna call it an evening here at Disney's Alani Resort. Looks like there is a siren going by off in the distance under the mountain. I'm looking out on the ocean as the sun has descended on the horizon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Vlog is over.